Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 46 Round of 16 match between Bright and his Lizardmen and Mankiz and his Chaos. Uh, Bright beat Demon Ted's Chaos 3-0, so there you go, that's amazing isn't it? In the booth with me is Fymir and Dimmy, hello! Hello! And I have to tell you guys, I'm not sober, I'm not drunk, but I'm not sober either. <laughs> uh, uh, same. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was supposed to be a very good uh, game for uh, the Chaos, Chaos team yeah. because they have the claw, they have everything. It's like, no and disrespect right. to Demon's Head, but I think Mankiz is probably one of the best Chaos players in Chalice as well. So, uh, uh, he did the amazing ones, uh, the chain, didn't he? he did the amazing yes. chain to, to get through. Uh, yes, I genuinely yes. think Demon's Head is um, like really, really good at Blood Bowl, but I, I think, uh, well, and he, he low rolled, right? Uh, Demon's Head low rolled in the 3 0. Yes. Um, uh, but like, Mankis is pretty solid, to be fair. So Bright has got a Wizard and an Apple and a Babe and Silly Billy, so he's got quite a few inducements. But I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a team, isn't it, Mankis? Holy moly. Yeah, he's, he's really, really good. Uh, I mean, the lizard needs to do some magic here if you expect to have a chance. And probably this is not the right way of doing it. Seven claws. I wonder if yeah. tentacles on the warriors would be better though, yeah? I do wonder that. There oh, is a the skinks. There is a limit of claws you can have. I think seven is way too many. Yeah, I think seven could be too many to be fair. There's only, hang on. Oh, right, because he's cast one. So there's only two skins on the field, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Oh, you're baiting the tents. Okay. Um... <laughs> No, I wasn't baiting the tents at all. I just literally, uh, Gadenic was talking about it the other night. Like, he had four claws on his team and he thought four claws were enough and then go for a couple of tents. Is, is Flex Luther really a first time chatter? Wow. I'm, I swear I've seen him in there. Hello, Flex Luther. It's a hell of a name, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pretty good name, yeah, to be fair. It's, uh... Lex Luthor was probably one of the best bad guys in uh, sci-fi. What is it? It's not even sci-fi, is it? What is it? It's a, it's a comic book. Bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Mm. I think he was a pretty good bad guy. Yeah, he was. I mean, stupid, you know obviously. I mean? Absolutely insane that he's a bad guy. Like, he's, it's it's stupid. Like, he's a human bad guy against Superman. It's insan It's insanity. So... But he was good, Gene Hackman was good in that, yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah. But like, it's kind of stupid, isn't it? It's kind of stupid. Oh, here we go, look at Chain, a sexy Chain. What's what's the point, just to get him off? Stupid comic book. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we're casting a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, 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 I'm a big fan of comics, so so some respect. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't. Well, I've never really. I, I couldn't read, so you know, I haven't read any comics. You can yeah, read. I've, I've Congratulations, Dimi. I, I only read co the Commando comics when I was a kid. Um, commandos with a with an exclamation point or something, something like that was. Um, I should And yeah, welcome. Nothing but the lamp. Um, it is a video game, and I have played this game consistently for. 32 years. <laughs> how, many, how many hours have you got in Blood Bowl 2? A sub. <laughs> Is it over 10,000? Are you officially an no, expert? It's not that. Um, wasted. You can do wasted to see in CCL. No, but that's how much you played CCL, right? That's not included in the yeah. leagues. Yeah, I know. And then also the time you've watched. Because obviously, when you're watching Blood Bowl, you're studying Blood Bowl, right? So it's still. Yeah. It, I think that still counts towards, like. Expertise. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's where I come from. 5,688 hours. Yeah, I, I think, I honestly think, um, certain players would learn more from watching than playing. Yes. Like, oh, yes. depending on what stage they're at. Like, yes, I think probably most people would, uh, like, I, nearly I every stage, I, I would say. Yeah, I learn, I learn more from watching than I do from playing, for mm. sure. Mm. Now, anyway, not necessarily. When I first started, it was you had I had to play, but like nowadays, it's like I need to watch good coaches play. 
Well, you've come to the right place, Dimmy. This is it. This is it. This is the CCL Cup, Dimmy. There is nothing better than this. Oh no, I just, I just meant my channel. <laughs> Well, hey. <laughs> Which happens in Jimmy's fantastic channel, CCL Cup, every single game, every single day. Yep. Except Tuesdays. Yeah, Tuesdays are a special day. A yeah, leg day. But we skip that. <laughs> yeah, we skip that one. We, 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 we don't talk about <laughs> leg day. Yes, and I want to say, Mordred, that you're right. Today was a free comics uh, day. And unfortunately, it was also the day with uh, George Perez died. Which, if you are a comic book fan, will break your heart. If you are not, you don't care. Yeah. But George Perez was the kind of guy that the, an artist that made the designs that everybody knows about most of superheroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess Cold Knight, yeah. Yes, yeah. And Flex, I love birds, but they're always going to be trash. Yeah, they're terrible. I, act, I absolutely adore Burt's. It's, it's my weird crush <laughs> in Blood Bowl. As weird crushes go in Blood Bowl, that's probably one of the least offensive ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's alright, Dimmy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well. Burt's giving it a go, isn't he? He's probably he is. like. Hanging, isn't he? He's, yeah. like, he's like, right, let's have a go, let's have a row. I swear he didn't do this against the demon Ted. No. You know, I thought that was a very bad idea being, you know, so aggressive being the Lizards against so much claw, but it's paying. I mean, mm -hmm. stunning the Palmer helped, right? But then, what's he going to do with this stand firmer? He's going to tuck him behind, right, on the corner, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, one. Oh, up and behind, up and behind, make it a 1D only. Mm -hmm. That yeah. should be up and behind, shouldn't it? That yeah. should be one up. Yeah. yeah, 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 I like that, Dimmy. But maybe he wants to bait him into blitzing him and then getting stuck and only having to move across and not getting forward, you know? Yeah. But no, I prefer tucking him in behind. Yeah. He gets away with it. Mm. Obviously better than me at Blood Bowl. Yep, he knew that was going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Rackle Goat, best goat in the game. Mm, I'd rather have a claw on <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Every single day of the week. <laughs> I'm looking forward to no pom anymore. I am looking forward yeah, to Yeah, yeah, me too, to be honest. It's gonna be guard all over the place. That's just gonna be sneaky git, mate. <laughs> mm. It's just gonna be sneaky git, left, right and centre. Fouling every turn. Outrageousness. Oh, catcher, rolled a double, first skill. Oh no, not rolled a double, is it? It's just catcher, first skill, sneaky get. <laughs> it's it's going to be a weird meta. It's going to be fun to watch, like, like as much as whatever you think of BB3, and I've obviously said what I think of it, but it's going to be fun to see the skills, like, the people pick, and, like, People are going to have to suss the meta out, like the tabletop guys go get a bit ahead because obviously they've been playing it. Um, but I feel like we're going to, I feel like we're going to see, there, there's going to be a shift in the meta, uh, for sure. Um, and then it's, and then I think it's going to keep shifting for I mean, a bit, yes. which will be fun. I change of the meta, but the thing is, you know, of as much as the tabletop people play, in the first month, of Blue Ball 3. Yeah, they, they would have played more games than they have in the last yes, four years. In, yeah. in, in, in 20 years. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is like, Wood Elves are no longer like, top of the nest or top of the chain. And like... Top of the tree. Um, Wood Elves, yeah, top of the yeah, tree. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, and like, Chaos and Nurgle are dropping off like, hard. And like, um... It's it's just going to be interesting, like to see what the sort of ladder meta, like, and if there is a ladder and how they do it and all that sort of thing. So. Yeah. And uh, Mordred, we're talking about the, the nerf to claw mighty blow and making them, you know, like uh, shitty orcs. This is the thing. Wait, about the biggest Chaos nerf to Nurgle, in my opinion, is the yes. the the rotters going to AG2, right? So. Yeah, that that's brutal. That's uh, absolutely. Let's, let's destroy Nargle. It makes the start even harder, right? So it's like... But for Chaos, people forget that Chaos, all of the players of Chaos can get a strength oh. access. So all of them can get guard and uh, stuff like that. So it's going to be, yeah, you know, less claw, but much more guard. 
Yeah, I, th I think I think Chaos are going to be crap. No, yeah, are going to be good. like the worst. <laughs> Wiz there, Jim. So Apo comes in. Yeah, interesting wizard, isn't it? Um, not what I would do, but who can say if it's right or wrong? Three turns. So, I mean, He's he got a hell of a scatter, didn't he? Yeah, he got the best scatter. Yeah, he got the absolute best scatter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was really lucky. That was a hell of a scatter. Mankey's meat throttle. Yeah, this is looking real. I mean, that was just God scatter, wasn't it? Mm. Wow, Where's that's going? It, yeah, just GFI in the screen. That's that is insane. Like that, any other scatter, and he just doesn't get get safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, he did uh, some uh, random blocks just because before uh, picking up the ball. <laughs> yep. I hate that. I hate when people do that. They're like, just go for the play. Yeah, you still have the roll. Pick up the ball. I mean, it it's is a bad matchup, yeah. Dirtle, but it's a one in eight scatter that he had to hit. Like, that's yeah, exactly. really. <laughs> that's really like. I don't know what he was doing if he didn't hit that. Like, passing it to the other skink maybe was the plan. I wasn't a fan of the wizard, but then I never am, to be honest. I'm mm. um, Dimmy, hate the wizard. <laughs> <Gee>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have rolled that Oof. double skull. No, the rolling the double skull is a terrible idea. Yeah, oh. I wouldn't have done that. And then passes. <laughs> Wee! Terrible play. Does the dodge. Terrible play. Jesus. <laughs> Wee. What's he do here? What's the goal of this turn? What, from Mankers? No, from uh, Bright now. Oh, just Tato, innit? Really? Yeah. I mean, not too hard, but he's, he can yeah. go up, can he? Sideline it. Whatever. Yeah, he's going to sideline. Oh, fudge me. Yeah, they were, they were bad, Sadder. There was a tackle there. Every other scatter was bad, because they can't no, throw because they're skinks. He's got to do the cheer for it, and then he's, he's got a 1 in 9. No, no, he can block. Alright. Which is still... Alright, oh, no, it's a 1 in 9 to save a 1 in 9, mate. Yeah. Yeah, much better fail state on that 1 in 9, isn't it? Because yeah. they're both down, he's alright, and he gets an extra chance. There we go, easy. And then the double skulls. <laughs> Just to the turn, so you can say, oh, I was very lucky, very lucky. My last action was a mistake, was a fail. <laughs> He's got the dodge. You go. For, oh, you can't even say any size. So. Hello, Diamond. Yeah, I agree. Chaos with all the nerfs are just bad orcs. Yeah, I mean, and they're not even that much faster than orcs anymore because black orcs getting, getting orcs really far. have just quietly got a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, not really black orcs. Is it Biggins? Biggins being moving. Yeah, Biggins is like insane. I think they. they <clears throat> I'm pretty sure PC showed us that on one by one blah blah where they had like. Um, improved. Yeah. The stats are a bit bollocks, though. Well, the but, stat line, yeah, yeah. No, the stats it's... of the fumble stats and everything. And oh, yeah, 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 stats yeah, are yeah, all yeah, irrelevant. yeah, no. But you say that, it's obviously CL stats in a sense. Like, it's a completely different game, isn't it? It's a completely different game, so. Yeah, but the, it's, it's really more different when it's an uncompetitive format, isn't it? Well, yeah, 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 for sure. But then, like, it depends. Like, if you if you're comparing redraft to no redraft as well, then that's the, there's just no comparison, is there? It's yeah, but I mean, yeah. So like, it's all, and there's all the million it, different and... redraft things. Like, so any way you run your league is going to give completely different results for everything, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and who's coaching what as well? Right? Yeah. But like, all I know is that it's it's leaning bash meta, right? It's what my my interpretation yeah. of it before what I was seeing is this Blood Bowl Season 2 is a bash meta. Yes. Over edge meta. I mean, it wasn't Dark. really an edge meta anyway, was it? Because... Yeah. I think Wood Elves were king. I think Wood Elves have been king for a long time. But... I mean, Chorfs are pretty good as well, aren't they? On tabletop, yeah, Wood Elves are king. But on tabletop... Yeah, Chorfs are DCL king, yeah. 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 But that's the thing about Blood Bowl, isn't it? It depends where you play, what you play, and what format you play. And... Yeah. And there is always like a me like, but yeah, like, do, I think it lent towards the bash more in this last rule set. Mm. 
Wow, this is uh, this is brutal, isn't it? One nil down after his own drive, Mankiz. Yeah, quick score, two nil. Didn't Good do that bit. much damage. GG. Yeah, it could be. What do you reckon? A, what, what do you reckon a Mankiz set up here? He's, he's, I've seen him do this last game. It's it's an okay setup, I guess. <laughs> Means you if you want to, you know, if you want to. At one nil down. At one at one nil down. Yeah, yeah, so. true. Giving up the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he shouldn't have. But what can you do? If you do give up the sidelines, like if you don't give up the sidelines, he still just goes through and screens off anyway, right? Like it's pretty it's easy. It's a banger to set up. It's pretty easy to score against Chevrons anyway. I think. Yeah, and then this the setup uh, here from Mankis is absolutely a banger one. Mm. Keeping banger. all his uh, yeah. blow, a mighty blow ready, just in case. Like, honestly, with, with Skinks, I just think it's easier to score two turn anyway. Because right. they can't react. Like, also, the, the... Mankis doesn't have a stand firm, so the sidelines will disappear anyway. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean, like, the what's it, you know, the what's it, what, what is it called? Chevron's, Chevron's defense. Yeah, it's harder to break through the side, but it's still pretty fucking easy to break through the side. And when you do, then it's oh, harder it for them to react to it. Pitch, uh... Whereas, okay, it's easier to take the sideline here, but it's also easy for them to, like, react. This is too easy for me, Jim. Yeah, this is too easy, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. <coughs> like, this is obviously too easy, but... The point is, it's not that good. It's not as if like Chevron's is amazing or anything. Like, yeah, I still yeah, think yeah. you're getting scored on the Chevron's. I like flat, but um, hmm. the problem is it's so strong as well. Yeah. yeah, like it's like this is obviously worse. <laughs> the Chevron's would have been. I think so. That's what I was trying to nudge you towards, Jim. But you know. Oh yeah, like it's definitely like I mean Chevron's is is less bad than this. I think but... it's the only option. It's not a great option, but I think it's the only option. Sadly. Yeah. yeah, I could I could agree with that. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, I would have powered there as well. Yes. Yeah. Pushes there. That was a just clear not... roll. He has four <laughs> rerolls. Yeah. He's losing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I Monkeys, agree. what's happening to you, man? I don't know. Like, uh, like it's an iffy one, though, isn't it? Because there's no point saving your rerolls for overtime when you're two 0 down, is there? That's the thing. No, no, that's true. So yeah, he, he, pro he probably should have like just greeted that. Yeah, I think that's a. Yeah, I, I like probably wouldn't roll. have done either. Like, I would have probably not greeted it and then thought, "Ooh, do you know what? I should have greeted that afterwards." <laughs> No, but he's oh. got the two tackle behind in the back line, so because he can only this kind of blitz through the one. Has he got a wizard still? Can he? Could he have bolted and blitz one and scored? Oh no, he's used the wizard. Mm. Oh, of course he used it. The bolt with the one in eight scatter, yeah. Yeah, instant reroll from try. Yeah, like that's the thing. I think that's. Yeah, I think yeah. That's fair really? enough. Like, thinking about it, like you know, watching this. I, I go reroll, but playing it, I would probably have not rerolled and thought, "What an idiot! I should have rerolled." <laughs> like as yeah. soon as I hadn't rerolled, I'd be like, "Why the fuck didn't I reroll?" Yeah, like sometimes that ten seconds isn't enough. Like it's fucking mad. Like, it's never enough. Uh, Fifteen seconds to me, that kind of decision is uh, never enough. Yeah, that's one of the things I hate about Blood Bowl Two, and I've mentioned it a million Let times. Let me use my turn time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so stupid. Like, you can do it in tabletop, do you know what I mean? You can just sit there and stare at it for like 15 minutes, as yeah. one of my opponents did in uh, my second game in the UKTC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my top! <laughs> <laughs> it's a really hard decision, mate. <laughs> Chess clock! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though, when you when you look at like how absolutely beautiful this Mankis team is, and it then, is great. and how beautiful Gadenik's team was, it's like, is it is it even worth building a team like this? No, it's not. It's not. Honestly, mate, make yourself a sixteen hundred TV undead team. Yeah. Uh, crack on. Yep. Oh wow, there's a Kaz. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Armor 12, injury 12. Beautiful. Proper rolling. 
It depends where you are, Harry or Harley, in the run. If you if you've got 15 games to go, sack it. If you've only got like two or three games in your parking, then you keep it. But it also depends on your record, whether you're trying to qualify. Or if you're not trying, if you're not trying to qualify, keep it. If you are going to try and qualify, like how close are you to qualifying? That you can't just ask that question. Like it's you need context behind it. Yeah. I mean, they, they did diddle, but it could have easily been the 1600 shithead <laughs> Skaven team. <laughs> it could have very easily been the 1600 shithead game. Yeah, Harley, nice you, have to, you have to keep it. Uh, you don't have time enough time to reveal another bull. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and so that's a really it. good uh, bull. Yeah. You keep it, yeah. Uh, nice chain to get the tuddy, wasn't it, there? I like that. I like that. Because I like Scott. Don't like the frenzy, your bull, but. Yeah, I don't like a frenzy bull, but yeah, it won't, but it's not going to have time to rebuild you. And the worst thing is, is playing a rookie bull at high TV, because it's just a sitting goose. <laughs> sitting goose, yep. <yeah. laughs> it's just two SPP what, uh, waiting to happen. It's a sitting it goose. Is, it is, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a sitting when you goose. Come up when you come against all them claw pommers, they'll be like, yes, please, I'll hit the ball centaur. There's no <laughs> block. Yeah, it's two SPP waiting to happen. It's like, oh, there you go, take two SPP, please. Oh, God, a sitting goose. I've never heard that before. You never heard sitting goose? No, it's a sitting really? duck. It's a sitting, sitting duck. Sitting duck, yes. <laughs> sitting goose, there. <Yeah. laughs> I just realised what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Please give us exclamation point sitting goose if someone clips it. Man, you catch it like a ball goose. <laughs> <laughs> What you want about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaz. Silly Billy doing his duty. He dies every game, doesn't he? And he does. Brilliant. Just like a sitting goose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goose end. How have, you, how, have you never heard of, how have you never heard of a sitting goose before? <laughs> I didn't even realise the two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh well. Amazing. Are we gonna see a handy? No. GFI tag? Yeah. I need to find a picture of a sitting goose and just uh, <laughs> photoshop my face onto it. <laughs> oh god, yeah, we need a we need a sitting goose. We need a penguin. I'm just gonna add all of the I'm just gonna add all of the cr fucking crazy blood bowl memes to this tail or drop picture, and it'll just have everything. Swarm lord. <laughs> fucking swarm so, lord. And you need to get the, the penguins from the Vietnam movie. With the penguins. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to see that still. Yeah, shit. Because I was streaming, wasn't I, when you put the link and I couldn't look at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Like, Bright has gone through a baptism of fire, hasn't he? He sure has. What a route! What a route to the uh, well, to the quarterfinals. I can respect the fact, you know, that uh, okay, I'm going all in. If Claw fires, I'm dead. If not, I win. Mm. Thanks, Mordred. <laughs> I can sit in case. <laughs> <laughs> you were both so serious about it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's because any of this.
played that game the other day and he was calling it a duck and it was a goose. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is, he's doing the right thing, isn't he, man? Because obviously, he might not roll the, he might not get the dice though, but he's doing the right play. Oh, he gets the dice. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. He made some removals. And he's got the chance to turn over and score. It's exciting, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Four, eight, nine players versus eleven. Don't say it's over. Now he's going. Now he's going the chevrons. What do you think of that, Dimmy? Maybe he's a master tactician, and that was like he thought. Like invite the early score. I don't know. <laughs> I would have gone Chevron's first, I think. Yeah, me too. Turtle time? No, they're lizards. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, if I, if, if I could put a shell on, this would be the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe just turtle it. Maybe. How many turns? It's a bit risky, isn't it? It is a bit risky, yeah. But then so is going for the tuddy and not making it, so it's 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 all a bit tricky. Yeah, but the good thing about going for the tuddy is the ball's down the other end of the field. Yeah. That's what everyone tells me that's bad about the Dakar, but you know. Oof. Oof, wouldn't have done that, Dimmy. Mm. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> Where's he going now? Hitting the edge guy. That's good because yeah. he's a right pin yeah. in the ass against. Uh, he's only edge four, isn't he? Essentially, but he can he can come through and dodge around and hit your skinks. Yeah. To be fair, I quite like stalling around this kind of neck of the woods. Just turtle here, and then if you get too much pressure, you can still retreat, can't you? Which is nice. It's just a sitting goose, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you go backwards, you say, "Oh, I don't like him exposed." I would have had him one back, but I guess it's a, it's a, maybe it's just a tempter on purpose. But I would still want him able to. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't want his Soros getting hit, does he? Yeah. But... <laughs> if he wins the game, now we're talking about chalice equity over game equity. I think. I mean, it just means that you get him based by the tackler. That's the problem, right? Which is exactly the first thing he's done. Yep, correct position of the rackle there. Take notes, lads, in chat. <laughs> yes, put the, your tacklers next to the dodge pieces. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Mm. Not blitzing with curl palm. I guess if you're not going to pile on, it's better not well, to. Well, the tail's to so. Big pressure turn from Mankis so. here. Yep. And how does Bright answer it? The Jim Pow. And another one. This is Frida Saurus. <laughs> yep. Blitz the Blodger. Ooh, gets the power. Oh, you scumbag. Absolute scumbag. Oh, I'd be livid. <laughs> of course he gets the power. <laughs> Side cage, the lizard side cage, yep. classic. Absolute uh, classic side. Uh, cage. Uh, how many times have we seen this tonight, lads? Yeah, this <laughs> yeah, is like this we... is like three or four times in one match, isn't it? Well, no, because we watched him against the uh, undead as well, the game before. Yeah, yeah. Lots of times in two matches. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the dodge of the wolves of the necro. Yeah, yeah. it's absolutely guaranteed. Yeah. If you if you want to win Chalice, boys, play Lizards and Side Cage, confirmed. Yep. Or if you want to get to the quarterfinal, so I mean, this is the quarterfinal, right? So no, this is the round of sixteen. Ah, uh, okay. If you want to get to the quarterfinal, play Lizards and Side Cage. Yeah. 
and beat Chaos 3-0, Clawpom Chaos 3-0, and then <laughs> be winning 2-1 on turn 14 against Clawpom Chaos, and somehow still have a team left after both games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and be 2-0 up against Undead on their drive, that's also a, a yeah. thing. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, going in. GFI. No, I like it. I love it. Maybe that should have been a re-roll. As like unexciting as it was, because you're losing and you have to win. Hmm. Is that the edgy scheme of the ball? Um, yes. 2 plus. Alright, okay, so we need a 3 plus. So we 2D the the Blodger with this. The, the Stan Firmsaurus. We dodge the Skink away. We Ooh. dodge the other Skink away, and then we 2 plus, 2 plus. Yeah. Through. He's just going oh. back. Oh, he's, he's going, going back. back. Okay. I would have gone through, I think. I think that's risky. I quite like running back. Yeah, actually, no, now I've seen it a little bit. I mean, he had the dice to go all the way through there. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't need to go through, does he? Purple. No, he yeah, doesn't. Yeah, no. And it would have been off tackle as well. Yeah, yeah, that was another mark against it. Wow. Big boy 1D. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't like those random 1Ds at the end of the turn, just in case. Yeah. It was a bit rowdy, but... Oh, here we go, another ch another chain from Mankiz. This is a lot of dodges, though. I don't... Yep. It's not a chain. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is happening yeah. now, it's happening now. So yeah. This is the 1D on the Saurus and then the 2D... Oh! Oh, oh. oh. oh this is actually... Pretty fucking special yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. He's a oh, pretty casting. Sick. Then we got a 1D and then a 2D. No real recovery. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, I guess you just gotta. Oh, you can dodge for the 2D. Very nice. Uh, Very nice. That's a guys, great play. That is a guys, great play. Guys, there is a chance that the monkeys know how to be amazing, guys. Yeah. But he needs someone in scoring range. That's the only thing that this player is missing. Well, not really. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. This guy's in scoring range. Only one, though. Oh, would you take the dodge there? Yeah, maybe he's good, but then it's too easy to push him back anyway, so I guess you don't. So he's only got one in scoring range. Just done, isn't he? He's just got the yeah, he's done. Yeah, I think you have to take the dodge there. Yeah, I think you've got to, but I mean he still yeah. just gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he wouldn't have got him. No, there he wouldn't go. have got him. Shit, yeah, I guess he had to do I guess you had to. Like, as, as much as it sucks without a reroll or anything, you just had to get in scoring range with a ball carrier, I think, yeah. Hang on, he can chain him. He can chain him, yeah. Oh man, Mankiz. Mankiz needs to be the subject of the new of the sequel to the chain, doesn't he, by Hellboy? <laughs> yeah, so you can chain him there and then block him oh as well. Oh my god, this is fucking outrageously good. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh man. Oh, wait a second. Three, four, five... Six, seven. Okay, no, he couldn't. Imagine if he could have made it three dice. <laughs> he had three more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he didn't have nine. Man, I mean, he, he, wouldn't it have felt off. terrible if he could have had nine? Absolute hats off to him, mate. That was pretty. The, the last two turns were pretty fantastic. Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he got robbed by the wizard scout. And, uh... Yeah, he did, yeah. I have to say, the crown of the best chainer is probably <laughs> going to monkeys. This guy knows how to chain uh, pieces. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fantastic place. Yeah. But, but he's left with a reroll, and you know, 
Had he, uh, had he re-rolled that re core pong hit on... in, uh, Yeah, he should have re-rolled the one in on Oh no, he re-rolled the one before that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he, didn't re he didn't re roll the hit on this guy like a while ago, and if he had done, then maybe he would have cast him, and then maybe that guy wouldn't have been there, and maybe he would have had three dice on the hit. And, you know, then he would have been able to go through there without the three plus dodge that he didn't want to make. So, you know, like maybe he did need to make one more reroll just to, like, get through there. But, I mean, that's yeah. really, really harsh. Like, he did play great and, and did the right things at the end and just got done by that godly wizard. But, you know, fair enough, fair enough for doing, you know, Bright doing the wizard and, and taking his shot. And that's, there you go. Congrats, Bright. Commiserations and man kids. Thank you very much, Fymir and Dimmy. It's always a pleasure to be here. Yes. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Yeah.